So uh, Veronica and myself are out here today and we're actually going to put the Unique Aircraft Corporation's G500 through the paces. I actually pulled it out of the box the other day and um, kind of look at things. I saw them at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. It's a couple of things that um, I think I'd like to note about this, let's say, aircraft. One, the first thing is the battery. The battery is what I would call a consumer electronic style battery. It has a plug. You actually pick up the aircraft. It has a little door. You open the door. Insert the battery. It only goes one way. Put it in there. You close the door. Pretty standard fare as uh, the rest of it goes. Camera gimbal, uh, stabilized, you know, a micro SD card, yada, yada, yada. It is a little bit bigger than um, some of the other systems, and I think in videos coming in the uh, future, we will do a size comparison by some of the other major manufacturers. One thing it doesn't have yet, and I hope that they make, are prop guards. Really, if you're going to fly this anywhere where there's people, you got you have to have prop guards. It just uh, it doesn't really make sense. Some people say it affects the performance, and I say hogwash. One of my favorite words. The other thing we have here I like is a on-off switch, and I think that's very good. It's it's kind of a safe safety thing. I like that. So this kit came with a uh, it this kit. Uh, came with two batteries and it came with a warranty which I thought was interesting it's a several month warranty I forget how many and I don't want to misquote that but I thought that that was a pretty good feature okay then we go over here and we have got the controller and you get your lovely lanyard from the small unmanned systems business exposition shameless plug and then uh, so we notice a few things about the controller one, we've got a start and stop button for the uh, motors. I think that that's pretty cool. They've got um, a button for stills. And then uh, we probably have some shadows going there, but then they have a uh, button for uh, video. And then they have three modes. They have the uh, smart mode, the GPS angle, which is more uh, piloty, your selfie. And it has a, a um, home feature, and which will return to home. Um, Oh, yeah, one other thing that they've got here, of course, you can pan the, the camera up and down. The other thing I really like, they have another feature here, the old tortoise and the hair. I don't know if this hair works for the FAA. Looks a little lighter than 55 pounds, but uh, it's kind of a dampening switch for the responsiveness of the sticks. It's also, it's, um, it has a rechargeable battery on board. And you notice there are no external antenna and can I the, uh, get caught on anything. The other thing that we have with this is there's a screen on board. So what you would see, like say on a iPad or your computer or a phone or some other device, all of that information is displayed here. It also came with a nice shade box that I did not bring because it's, it's always air on fire. But uh, it tells you all the information and uh, video from the system um, comes back here it tells you the distance altitude battery level all the rest of that and uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, we will have Veronica pilot this here in a minute action hi Veronica for SUAS news here showing you guys that the unique Q500 is easy enough for anybody to fly
I've already gone through the 25 point checklist. We use a checklist around here. You gotta remember that this is aviation. Somebody's gotta get the chalks out. Just kidding. <laughs> now it is important to have a checklist. Can't remember everything. 